the episode three of my hotel season two. So hopefully this one is as good as the first two episodes of this season. And uh see you next year. Mark, is that you? Orion is certainly not one to mess around, is he, podcast listeners? Because he understands the importance of our mission and why I couldn't initially tell Mars about the unexplainable disappearance of Aurora Gershwitz. But we have rules in my colony, and Mars broke one, which means there'll have to be some consequences. Yep. 
Humans can't, you know, survive without helmets and oxygen. It's time to change up what you're doing here at the colony. I think you have certain skills that are being wasted in the greenhouse. Well, I wouldn't say wasted. Maybe I'm not being used to my full potential is all. Exactly. Would you say you're a kid who leaves no stone unturned? Yeah, that's me. In baseball, do you bat clean up? I'm more of a scrappy leadoff guy, but okay. Even better. Like Mr. Pruitt says, everyone on Mars is here for an important reason. Even you, Fly. The good news is, we don't believe in useless punishments like detention. That's good. I spent enough time in detention. We need everyone to pitch in. You know, make our world a better place. I want to help. That's what I like to hear. What's this? A supply closet? It's all yours, Fly. It has everything you need to do your new job. My job? Yeah, it's in here somewhere. Here. What's that? A space shovel? Just a shovel. And this is your cinch sack. These two babies are your new best friends. For what? For picking up the waste. What kind of waste? Mr. Pruitt designed the tardigrades to live on Mars. They roam around the valley and eat this bacteria that grows on rocks. They like to do their business on the far side of the big boulders around the colony. You can't believe the size of the clumps that come out of them. Wait, my job is shoveling those monsters' giant poops? Manure. We call it manure. We use it for the soil in the greenhouse so we can grow stuff. This can't be right. I wasn't sent to Mars to be pooper scooper. You wanted to go outside? Now you have a reason. Pick up the manure, bring it back. And just in case you're thinking about wandering off again, I'm limiting your oxygen. Oh, and make sure you shower when you come back in. If we're gonna be roommates, I can't have you smelling like a tardigrade toilet. Roommates? Wow, Mars, you're on Mars. That must be amazing. Yeah, totally dream come true. So what do you do on Mars? Do? Yeah, like, are you a scientist or a bioengineer? I shovel poop. I'm sorry, you what? I'm a poop shoveler. I shovel monster poop. It's my turn to give you a lift. Julia, what are you doing out here? Testing out one of the rovers. It's retrofitted so I can drive it with my hands. You get all the cool stuff. <laughs> I hear you got a cool new assignment too. You must be flushed with excitement. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Of course not. Nothing funny about your job. To anyone who'd laugh, I say poo poo. This is humiliating, Kevin. Fine. <coughs> You can easily train yourself to listen faster. If you are able to listen fast, you can consume more information. Why are you enjoying this so much? Maybe because you deserve it. Did you think of me at all when you hatched your plan to sneak out into the desert? Um... You could have gotten yourself killed. I was trying to find Aurora. Yes, but I was the one who told you about the Martian movements. I could have gotten in serious trouble. So let me get this straight. If I had gotten killed, you would have been upset because I got you in trouble? I'm trying to build a reputation here. Right, well, I'm very sorry I almost got myself killed and messed up your rep. I forgive you. I'm not going to stop looking for Aurora. Think about everything you did to look for all of the missing kids on Earth. I know you. You wouldn't give up either. Yes, well, here we are at the boulder field. What's with the graffiti on the rocks? Visit the space station. Add to Ram. Where's Ollie? The Martians must have painted it. What does it mean? Add to Ram is Latin. It means to Earth. But the rest of it? Who knows? All those maniacs want to do is cause chaos and ruin things for the rest of us. There's a debate on whether their leader, Fang, is even sane.
actually that was kind of funny. You got to be kidding me! Ugh, this pile is almost as tall as me. All of this is from eating bacteria. Is this day get any worse? Oh, hey boy, a nice boy or girl or whatever. Do you know Robin? Good job in the pile over here. Impressive work. It's not a rock. Please don't eat me. Is this what you want? You want a delicious rock? Hey boy, go get it. Rocks, rocks, any more rocks? <laughs> Easy, man. I'm just having a little fun with you. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm just out for a little stroll by the perimeter. Nothing as exciting as what you're doing out here. I'm doing my job. Shoveling that nasty stuff of passion of yours, Mars. How do you know my name? You're famous. Well, not for the shoveling, of course. Who are you? They call me Axel. I'm not famous or anything. Not yet. I feel like I know you from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Must be my face. Or my voice. It's you! The one who hacked into our shuttle! You're a Martian! Well, technically, so are you now. Where's Aurora? Do you people have her? Don't get all worked up, Mars. We've taken care of Aurora. What did you do to her? Hey, Mars, Mars. I'd like to introduce you to a few of my friends. Hey there, punk. Yo. Nice shovel. Um, hey, guys. Why don't you take a ride with I'm kind of short on oxygen, and I have a lot of shoveling to do. Here's the thing, Mars. My friends aren't nearly as nice as I am. So we're not asking. And Fang is looking real forward to meeting me. Hey, let me go! Get off me! to the Martian camp. Let's get you inside before you run out of air. Oh, my head. You were out for quite a while, so you're still going to be dizzy. You for sure are struggling a lot. So we pumped a little nitrous oxide into your helmet just to make sure you stayed down. Oh. Was all that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> what is that? What's going on? You can take the sap off his head. Here you go, Mars. Say hello to the boss. Are you... Are you Fang? Bring him to me. Let go of me! I've waited a long time for this. You're the leader? Take off that helmet and talk to me like a man. Where's Aurora? What did you do to her? Do to her? <laughs> Mars, it's me. I'm Shay. Aurora. Surprise! Well, podcast listeners, isn't that a twist? Aurora is Fang, the leader of the Martians. I know you may not believe me, but I did not see that coming. Hmm. It's time for me to go now. It looks like I have some issues I need to address. <laughs> Until next time, just know this. This changes everything. 
things that I've ever been doing for so much. Who were fought at a war would be fighting the emotions. I didn't see that coming from that. Next time we'll be listening to episode four of season two. Mm. And I will see you guys then.